trick it if you got it. Karate if you got it. Trick it, trick it, to trick it if you got it. You wanna know why we're tricking? No. Cause in this video we're doing tricks. Oh, okay. I said no. <laughs> they needed to know anyway. That was the worst opening in six years. Congratulations. You loved it. You loved every second. <laughs> you loved it. You're laughing on the inside. All right, the friends, in this video, I'm gonna share with you three ways I trick my belly into feeling full when dieting. <sighs> I'm out of breath from all that tricking if you got it stuff. All that karate. <sighs> This year, my goal is to get as lean and fit as possible, and I've already been able to lose 10 pounds in six weeks. And I wanna make this video because I often get asked, how do I deal with my hunger when I'm eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight? I have discovered some things along the way that allow me to trick my belly into feeling full so that I don't overeat. I can stay on track that way and meet all my fitness and weight loss goals. So I'm gonna give you my three big ones and then I'm gonna throw in some bonuses at the end. The first one is cut calories slowly. Anytime in the past I've struggled with weight my whole life, I was able to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for seven years and along the way, any time that I tried to pull away too many calories too fast, it always backfired. So now when I want to lean out or lose weight, I always pull my calories back slowly because if you do too much too fast, it's not sustainable. It basically, it's counterproductive. So I end up overeating when I do that. So this time I went from eating a little over 1900 calories to a little over 1800 calories. Doing it slow, I can still feel my, fuel my whole day, but I'm leaning out a steady one to two pounds a week, which is exactly what I want because that's sustainable. And Nicole has a very active job. She's also doing an hour of cardio a day and yes. we trained weight train today as well. So yes. in the past, both of us would crash and burn by taking away way too quickly, not being able to complete our workouts, getting really over hungry, and sets you back, like Nicole said. Always, and 100 calories a day is actually quite a bit. Like, I could even go slower if I wanted to, but I thought I'd try 100 and then add if I needed to. You wanna make so, it so your body doesn't realize what you're doing because yes. it doesn't want to lose weight. It wants to stay where it's at. And it's normal to be hungry in a calorie deficit because you're eating less than you're used to. But you don't wanna be starving to the point where all you can think about is food. You do wanna go slow. That's what Kyle and I have found. He's also lost 130 pounds, kept it off for the same amount of time, and he's doing the same thing, pulling his calories back slowly right now to lean out as well. The next thing is Sleep, and this might sound silly, but getting good quality sleep or enough, but most people cannot get the recommended eight hours a day. Most people just don't. If you can, I found if I can at least get good quality sleep, it helps because when I wake up early, I have anxiety, so I have a very hard time sleeping at night. Anytime that I didn't sleep well, or I got up early for work or for an appointment or something, I find I'm hungrier and I have way more cravings. So when I make it a point to get at least a few hours of good quality sleep, I find I have way less cravings and I'm way less hungry. And if I do have to get up early because I know that I have to go somewhere, or if I just woke up early because I couldn't sleep, I like to keep low calorie snacks on hand so that I can still stay in a calorie deficit but also satisfy that need to eat something because I'm, I might actually be more hungry. If you're up earlier, you might be doing more in a day. So I keep things like Fiber One bars, Special K bars, Smart Pop, like 94% fat free Smart Pop on hand in case I do need a low calorie snack. And just like the simple observation, me and Nicole have a really healthy appetite. Mm -hmm. So if we're up longer in the day and we're around food more, we want to eat more. Yes. 
and having those snacks around will actually allows us because we eat in windows so that we give ourselves a, a little bit of calorie room to play around with we know if we have a snack we're still going to be in a calorie deficit and lean out and the other thing that I do, and Kyle has a hard time sleeping too because he has anxiety, so what we do is we allow ourselves naps and that seems to help get us a little more sleep. I find I sleep better on the couch falling asleep to a movie, so if I can at least get a good quality nap, that helps as well. And the third one is include protein with every meal. What I have learned is protein is like a magical thing. Protein lowers your hunger hormone called ghrelin, so it allows you to feel fuller longer. And I, I've got a, quite a few examples here of the protein that we eat every single day, and we include it every meal. So cottage cheese is one of the best. We eat this every night before bed. This is 1% cottage cheese. It's a slow digesting protein. So it's like double the fuller, longer experience. You guys know if you've been watching our channel for a year, every single night we eat cottage cheese because it's a source of casein protein, stays in your belly a lot longer. And a full tip is we pair it with peanut butter, a tablespoon of peanut butter, and the fat in the peanut butter combined with the slow digesting protein really keeps us full and fuels our muscles all night long. Greek yogurt has been a staple in our diet for an incredibly long time. Uh, we used to do the fat-free, now we do the 2%. Egg whites and whole eggs. We like mixing the two so we get the whole fat from the eggs and the lean protein so we can add more, calor more protein but less calories with the egg whites. So those are our favorite. In here I've got some lean ground beef cooked up. We like to cook a whole bunch of it and then pull from it through the week. We put it on some wraps and make some quesadillas or some roll-ups. Yeah, sometimes we even make burgers out of the ground beef. Lean black forest ham or any sort of deli slices. Sometimes we have chicken or turkey. These are so good. Also, we like to have protein that you don't really have to cook because we don't really like meal prepping long hours of meals. And meat prices in Canada right now are crazy high. So this really, really helps fill in the gaps. And then this um, is the last protein, protein powder. This one is Huddled, harder than last time. It's Greg Doucette's supplement brand. We take this, we are sponsored by Huddled, um, but this is like the best protein powder and it's they make it so that it's easier to digest because some proteins aren't, protein powders aren't that digestible. And we're very excited because there's a lot of new flavors coming out, including like a marshmallow cereal sort of one that and we're getting soon. They're a case and mix too. Yes. So it's the protein that we like best. Yes, the slow digesting mixed with the whey, which apparently is supposed to be good for baking too, so I'm excited for that. So those are the three, and now I'm gonna throw in some bonuses. So high fiber foods are also very good. Um, I pulled out some whole wheat tortillas, but you know, veggies, fruits, anything that contains more fiber, it digests slower. So again, it's gonna keep you fuller longer oats, whole grain bread, whole grain flour, anything like that, tons of veggies, and low calorie, high volume things, which is basically the same stuff, fruits, veggies, popcorn, anything that's low calorie, but you can eat a lot of it, it will fill you up and keep you fuller longer, digest slower. Then, Chewing gum in between meals. That's something I do, especially when I'm eating in a calorie deficit. If I feel hungry, but it's not time for my next meal, and I don't really wanna eat a snack at that point, I'll chew gum. Something about the chewing and the flavor in my mouth distracts me from being hungry, but also sort of tricks my belly into thinking I'm eating because I'm chewing, and it buys me enough time to get to my next meal. What I also like about gum is they have so many different flavors. I can also satisfy my sweet tooth craving, which I often get, and so it does like triple duty. Soup is amazing. It's low calorie, and because of all the liquid in it, it will keep you full. When we were at the beginning of our weight loss journey, Kyle and I ate soup at least once or twice a week because it was super tasty and filled us up. It's low calorie dense, depending on which kind you pick, it's low calorie dense because of the liquid content. Yeah, and if you make your own, you can make it even lower calorie with more protein and stuff. And going with the liquid, drinking water with meals, it also fills you up faster 
And if you're not drinking enough water, your body actually sends signals that you're hungry but actually you're just dehydrated. So making sure that I have enough water every day, Kyle and I actually take five bottles, I drink five, four to five, and we put them at our placemat. And as we take them throughout the day, we know we're keeping track of our water to make sure we're having enough so that we're hydrated and our body's not saying, ah, uh, you're hungry, when we're not. And I don't, the next one, I drink because I like it. I don't actually drink it for this reason, but I wanted to share it with you anyway. Black coffee actually contains a chemical compound that has a natural appetite suppressant. It sort of acts as a natural appetite suppressant. So I'm drinking black coffee and the caffeine in it actually creates thermogenesis, which is the process that your body uses to generate heat. And in order to do that process, it has to burn more calories. So this does double duty as well. And I love drinking black coffee every morning. Just like the taste of it. So the friends, that is it. Those are the tricks that we've been using since day one. And that's why we've been able to lose the weight, keep it off for so long, and keep meeting all these fitness goals. Because we're always hungry and that never changed throughout <laughs> our whole life. And these literally help us all the time. So if you would like to know exactly what we ate to lose the first and next 50 pounds, we do have two weight loss guides. The links for those are down below. We have a brand new, because we like food, we have a brand new guilt-free cookbook. It's low calorie versions of all your favorite foods so that you get the great tasting food without the guilt and extra calories. And Again, the link for the protein, the supplements is down below. Uh, Greg also has cookbooks and workout books, all that kind of thing. I'll throw in a bonus, like bottom. you don't have to take any of these supplements. We always want to tell you guys that they're supplements, mm -hmm. but we just started taking Turk Builder and we're in a calorie deficit trying to get leaner and the Turk Builder helped us power through our back workout, feel a bit stronger when normally when we're cutting calories it's a lot tougher to get through the workout. That is very true. And the other thing I just thought of is the EAAs, the essential amino acids that Greg just came out with. We've been putting these in our water and if you're wanting to drink more water but you don't like the taste of water, this is Tropical Fruit Punch and it's really good. And a scoop of this gives you your amino acids, essential ones, and will help you drink your water better. So you can check that out if you like. And you can watch, if you want, can watch these two videos for free so that you can learn all the cool ways Sassy and I make weight loss super fun and easy AF. Like a baby seal in French Google Collective. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the friend of now. Trick it if you got it. Lawnmower if you got it. Be a magician if you want to turn that paper plaque into a real one. And now, <laughs> love ya. Shake my bean PG for YouTube. <laughs> Yeah. I'm editing out this last part and I'm not uploading it. So. He's keeping it in. He's keeping it in because he's slapping on the inside. He secretly loves this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Love you. See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.